Sarah, and I worked with Julian um, twice at Subway. Um, he's a really nice and funny guy, and he's really uh, fun to be around. Um, I'd say his death was really tragic too, because like he didn't deserve it, and he should have gotten the chance to like live out, you know, his life, and that was taken away from him. It's not fair. This incident happened, uh, the, the accident happened uh, Friday night, and uh, so uh, due to the, uh, you know, this tragedy, we opened up the school uh, for the students uh, Saturday, and then again on Sunday, and we had our uh, bereavement team uh, came along, uh, our school board bereavement team, and as well, Victim Services, uh, Windsor-Essex County uh, uh, Victim Services came along as well. That was just phenomenal support uh, for the kids. Um, I can also say that uh, I think opening up the school was probably a very good idea for staff and uh, for myself. Uh, everyone concerned really it gave us a, a good chance to get together to support each other and to talk and to, to cry and you know whatever uh, we were able to do during those uh, those hours. Well, we've got uh, you'll see uh, you'll see teddy bears, uh, you know, a few teddy bears around. It's just that the first word uh, that comes to mind when you think of, of, of Julien is that he's like a big teddy bear, and he's that's he's just a happy-go-lucky, beautiful person. Um, uh, you know, had had no enemies. I mean, he's just uh, he's just a breath of fresh air, and we're gonna miss him.